Communities around Maine have adopted or are considering moratoriums on marijuana-related businesses. Some are even looking to ban them completely. In Auburn, when the idea of a moratorium was floated, city leaders took the opposite approach. They are welcoming in the industry. News editor Chris Rose reports. Well, Auburn's open for business. As you enter Auburn, the sign reads, Certified Business Friendly. City leaders say that means they welcome all legal businesses. Auburn wants to send the message, I think, that we are open to all lawful business activity instead of making uh, moral judgments about this particular uh, section of the economy. City Councilor Jim Pross says the moral debate over marijuana is over in Maine. Under state law, it's now legal. For retail space, for commercial growing operations, whatever that might look like, uh, we want to be at the table and make sure that we're not shutting the door uh, to those opportunities. While other communities are closing the door, Auburn wants to be ready to take advantage of the economic opportunities legalized marijuana will bring. We're going to decide where and how it will be deployed in the city, but we're open to it. You know, hopefully those who have interest in investing in this industry will contact us. Auburn already has experience with marijuana businesses. Several cultivation operations are set up here in the city's industrial park. They distribute marijuana to medicinal clinics throughout the state. This medical marijuana dispensary is now filling what was a vacant storefront at the Auburn Plaza. That dispensary is helping to keep that strip mall in business one way or another. If the marijuana industry can fill empty buildings and generate new tax dollars, leaders here say they will treat it like any other business and greet it with open arms. In Auburn, Chris Rose, News Center. Auburn City Councilors have held two workshops on the marijuana issue now. The majority of members decided against a moratorium and favored keeping an open mind toward the potential economic opportunities when retail sales become legal next year.